So this is the problem that I've got. This is a sofa I've got at home, super comfy sofa, and the spot where I'm sitting has developed an enormous crack. At first it was just a little rip and we could deal with it. Uh, but now has come the time that I need to try and fix it. Um, so yeah, I have bought a patch repair kit off of eBay. Um, also my neighbour gave me some additional glues and stuff. So I am going to attempt to fix this. So it came with um, a piece of hessian. I've got a piece of sand, fine sandpaper. It came with this um, water-based leather glue. Uh, some things and uh, I've also got a piece of leather here which is close I mean it's not close to that but it's close to this um, almost that size closer and then I have got some um, grey leather as well so I'm going to attempt to put that patch behind and a piece of leather and then I'll try and get some leather filler once that's dry to fill in all the um, the bits there so I'm going to attempt to shove this behind there with some glue on it this is going to be very interesting so I've just applied some of this leather glue onto this patch and I'm just going to stick it in the middle there I've scuffed up the outside with some 800 grit sandpaper but I'm going to place it on there and put it between two books and um, hopefully that'll glue on there and then I'll have an outside edge to sort of glue on the inside. Right, so I've totally changed my idea. What initially I was going to do was have, uh, have glued it onto that backing patch. But I think actually not this side, but this side's better. And like, why not just use this? So what I've done is if you put it in and you look, because it's very similar to to that it'll actually tone in okay let me show you so this is just rough fitted I'll need to get some gloves and glue it proper but I think that might work you see what I mean because it's gonna and then you look through I mean obviously this will be all be glued hopefully glued down or I have to get gloves and really get in there, but I think that's going to look a bit better than. Um, so I might just put a few dobs of glue on there because it covers all the way, even to over there and up there. So I think this will probably work. And if I can get all these little straggly bits glued down, I might have to do it in several stages. Um, do that and then try and fill it in a little bit. We shall see. Right, so let's have a go. Right, so let's have a go, see what we can do. See if I can provision these sort of, just glue this in place and the top is coming off. So hopefully this won't be too jerky for you. Ooh. Why I'm so nervous with doing this. So what I'm going to try and do is just glue the patch in place and then I can come back in when that's dry and do the rest. I mean, I've got this lollipop stick. How much of a use that'll be is a mystery. Sorry, I just realised you couldn't see at all. Obviously, I've no, not done this before, so it's a bit of a mystery on on how much of it the glue to use. I mean, it just looks like PVA, really. Hmm. To 
seem to be sticking though, so that's good. Seems to be absorbing well into the leather. Now I don't know how I'm going to sort of clamp this as such. Pushing it down and hoping for the best, I guess. So it will go for the whole thing. Well, it's oops, no, don't go that way. It is quite thin. The glue is. I will pop a link to this glue in the description this kit it does come with a filler as well which I will uh, attempt to use once this has dried hmm how does that look right now you need to try and get it I should, when this started ripping, have done it early. Because I've procrastinated and procrastinated. And, oh, it'll be fine. It's, uh, it'll be okay. No, Thomas, you should have done it straight away. Somehow. So, yeah. It has been like this for months. And it's reached the point now where I have to do it. Because otherwise I'll be forced by said unmentioned parties known as the wife to buy a new sofa. And I'm too tight for that. Do you know what? It's almost like a co contact adhesive. Really. It seems to be grabbing it quite quickly I probably should have read the instructions but we all know that real men don't uh, read instructions obviously that's uh, not true but uh, do you know what though I mean, it's not perfect. A little bit of uh, ooching. And that might be okay. Right, I'm going to use the uh, dry side. Just to try and pull some of this. I'm expecting to have to sort of sand it back a little bit after. Let's try and push that in. Do you know what though? That's not too bad. And that could do with a bit more glue in it, but maybe there, get a bit in there. As I said, I can always tweak this after, but as long as they meet and you can see I'm glad I went with that backing actually because the crack lines are similar to the original colour of the sofa. So Someone's probably shouting at me in the comments section. You did it all wrong. You should have prepped it with this and then done this. But do you know what? I don't care. Well, I do care on, on what you say. Uh, obviously, I appreciate your comments and everything. But, uh, yeah. Just to hopefully save another sofa from landfill. So, because it's such a shame, obviously, being leather, you know... Um, It's a waste of a cow's or multiple cow's lives if it goes to landfill, so yeah, that'll do. Right, so I'll check back when this stuff dries. Right, so this is the next day, and you can see here it's not too bad. I mean that is not coming off at all. I might need to put a little bit more glue just there, but I tell you what. 
So, yeah, I'm really pleased with how that's come out. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue in there, and then maybe there as well onto the filler. I mean, the beauty of this stuff is it does dry clear. So although that looks hideous now, it should dry okay. I will get a bit of a cloth on it though. A few moments later. Right, so it's the next day. And um, you can see here the glue, I'll probably put a little bit too much glue on. Um, this bit here has kind of curled underneath itself. I can sure I can I mean just that itself is a lot better so what I'm going to do now so yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some of this fill on here not entirely sure how much to put on but we will have a go thing is it is white which Hmm. It's whether then I can then buff that out. I might better just straight going for the wax. Do you know what? I'm actually going to take that off and just go straight for the wax because um, it's already strong enough and the wax will fill that in. So I probably don't actually need this because I'm not going to be sanding it back. Let's get a bit of tissue and we'll wipe that off. Because this uh, this white just makes it just stand out so much. Um, and then you can you know wax over the top, but. Of the white, but still, when the wax wears away, the white's going to jump on through. So, ah, that was a bit of an error. So maybe don't do that. Um, yeah, we'll get some wax, and we'll have a go at applying that. So I've let that dry for a little bit, and now I've gone for uh, this is the wax I use on uh, other leather work projects. I've, this is a dark tan. Um, this is the wax that I use for other leather work projects. You can see I've used quite a lot of it. Um, this is for sort of brown leather. I mean, it says dark tan, but obviously this is like a lighter color, but this area where people's heads have gone, have gone a darker color. So I think I'm fairly safe using this. I was either that or I was going to use bry wax. Um, but I've not really done bry wax before on, on leather. I've used it loads on wood. So I'll put a link to this down in the description, but th this Kiwi brand one I find really good. And then a top tip, and then a top tip for anyone buffing shoes is have two brushes, brown off, on and brown off. So if one's marked on and off, and then um, you apply with this one and then you buff off with this one. So yeah, let's get stuck in and try and apply some of this brown. See how this goes. I mean, I probably should have got a new one for doing this. Okay, that seems to be turning in okay. Is that moving? Moving a little bit. I'm trying not to crumble it on the seat because obviously that's going to create issues down the road is so I mean the filler has disappeared that was there I just need to get a clump and 
push that pump in. We'll go manual. I'm trying to manually just stuff some of this in there. On top of where the glue residue is the worst. Pretty gentle with it. Right, and then just to very light buff over. Edges are catching. I'll just get um, or just like a tissue. <clears throat> Over the a Lion King tissue. I'll just check. Yeah, it does come off. Um, obviously, you've got to leave that to dry a bit. Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Should I have done the filler? This is just really more of a sort of slight cosmetic fix, enough to make it so we can get a little bit more life left in this um, sofa and save it from landfill. Yeah, I mean it's holding. It's and it's not going anywhere. Right, I'm pretty pleased with that. We'll just clean up a little bit and call it a day. So there we go, there's the finished result. Um, you know, makes the sofa usable again. Um, so I hope that helps someone out there. You know, I'm just uh, an idiot on the internet trying to fix things around the house and save some money and so I don't have to get a new sofa bit of life left in it um so yeah uh i'll put all the links to the products i use below none of this is coming off now it says that and there's a piece on his arm but yeah so none of this is coming off now so that'll be fine to sit on it's not going to get on the pillows or anything um if you have done anything different pop your comments in the comment section below um and yeah if you like this kind of video uh give us a like and a subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye